सो वेलकम बैक टू इलेक्ट्रिक वेहीकल्स चैनल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम कृष्ण तिना मंडेला टुडे वी हैव अ स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस फ्रॉम ब्रिटिश कोलंबिया द फाउंडर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो मी बाइक मिस्टर फैब्रिजियो क्रॉस सो फर्स्टली मिस्टर फैब्रिजियो क्रॉस थैंक्स थैंक्स फॉर हैविंग विद इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स चैनल थैंक यू कृष्ण इट्स गुड टू बी हियर so my first question to you your electric bike electro me bike the cost is 10000 usd and also 12500 canadian dollars which is equal to 7 lakh indian rupees do you think customers will buy such an expensive electric cycle or you made this electric cycle for particular audience Well, it is expensive, and you're right. It's made for a particular audience. Uh, anybody who wants to go a greater distance and carry more things, because it has a lot of cargo storage, and it's very comfortable to ride for a longer distance. Um, so, people who are are looking for that particular set of benefits uh, are ready to spend quite a bit. Um, however, if I think if we could make it for an Indian audience, we would have to make it cheaper. Okay. So you you said your e-bike having great regenerative braking energy, but don't you think this regenerative braking energy will affect the battery life cycles? Ah uh, yes, actually, but in a good way. Uh, the Electrum has a very large battery, which is able to absorb the big uh, the big bursts of regenerative energy. And the fact is, by using Regen, you're keeping the battery uh, topped up. Or not, you're not keeping it topped up, but you're helping the battery with extra energy, which means you don't run it down as much, which adds to the life cycles. Okay, and coming to once again, I am touching the price bracket here. Mm -hmm. People in Canada can still buy a 200 kilometers of range electric cycle for for just 4,000 Canadian dollars, because your electric cycle claims to have 200 kilometers of range with a single battery pack. But why mm -hmm. should Canadian people need to spend three times higher for your electro me bike. Well, as I said, the same same benefits as to why uh, what makes it worth it is if somebody is looking for something like weather protection. My feet, my feet are under here. Um, additional comfort. You also have things like horn and lights and turn signals that are not on a conventional e bike. Uh, but the main thing is the comfort. Sorry is, to interrupt. You said uh, yeah. the feet protection. People will mm -hmm. love to have complete body protection. Why you are particularly highlighting that feet protection? Uh, because the Electrum is on two wheels. Uh, if you had a full body protection, you would get blown around by the wind too much. Um, if you think about it, the cross winds would blow the bike back and forth. So what this does is it provides protection for your lower body. But doesn't present so much surface area that the bike is getting blown around by high winds. Okay, and I saw yeah. one, I, and I saw your videos, especially those your explaining videos, and you mentioned one word, which is it is future proof. But what do you mean by that word future proof? Oh, that means that it's it's ready for upgrades. It's ready to be repaired. Um, I work in the electric bike industry here, and a lot of the bikes that I have seen. Uh, become obsolete quite quickly, or they are non-repairable. They have such a mess of wires and unlabeled things that you can't fix them. The Electrum is designed to be repaired and upgraded, and because the the things like the battery is a simple square brick that goes into a slot, in the future, for example, when better batteries come along, it'll be very easy to replace that battery. Versus a lot of electric bikes have very specific shapes and sizes for their battery, and I've seen a lot of people left high and dry when they can't get new parts. See, in India, so many electric vehicle companies, especially the dealers, are complaining that there is supply chain issues, and one of the one of the reason is that China is facing the shortage of semiconductors. And don't you think this will affect Canadian EV market as well? Oh, absolutely, it has. Um, unfortunately, pretty much everything to do with an e-bike is coming from China. Uh, so right now, we are seeing uh, difficulty getting our hands on the chips needed for controllers. 
Electrum has a decent supply of chips right now, uh, and hopefully things will get back to normal in a year or two. We're a small company, and we don't make a lot of bikes, so it hasn't affected us the way it affects the big guys who need a lot of chips to keep going. Don't you think as an electric vehicle manufacturer, too much dependence on a particular country like China will affect electric vehicle growth in long term? Absolutely. It's not, uh, it's not ideal. China did start with e-bikes a long time ago. They adopted a national strategy for e-bikes in 1998, which is why they're so far ahead of us. And of course, their manufacturing is very inexpensive. Uh, however, a country like India, I think, given the right resources and time, could easily produce uh, the components domestically in India. You have the workforce um, and you have the, the cost of labor required. Canada, unfortunately, things are just too expensive here to produce those kinds of things domestically. Um, but yeah, our, we do need to find other suppliers other than China. Yeah. And uh, coming to your Electro Me bike, have you applied any patents or willing to apply any patents on your Electro Me bike? Uh, yes, we actually we do have a patent application in on our steering system. Uh, many other parts of the bike are not novel, meaning they're 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 not new. They they're maybe not the most normal way to do things, but they're not new. But our steering system is completely new, and we do have a patent on that. Okay. So I saw your electric cycle. Instead mm -hmm. of a saddle, you gave one video game chair for that. Are you a gamer? Uh, no, I'm not actually. Um, it looks like a video game chair, but it's actually it's actually uh, this is a recumbent saddle. Uh, so a saddle for a recumbent bike. Um, it does look like a chair, and it is a chair. Uh, but it's a chromoly frame with mesh uh, back. Uh, it's very light and very strong. Uh, gaming chairs are comfortable, but they're too bulky to put on a on a bike. Um, I, uh, I I'm so busy making the Electrum, I don't have time for video games. <laughs> okay, okay. And, uh, and 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 one more question: Your electric mm -hmm. cycle it's completely different from a conventional electric cycle because usually in an electric cycle the pedals are close to your legs, but your the pedals are away from your le legs like uh, an accelerator in a car. Don't you think mm -hmm. it is different from uh, cycling? Uh, yes, absolutely, it is different. Uh, and that's part of what makes the Electrum so, so awesome to ride. Uh, it's very comfortable. The, what's called the recumbent position puts your feet up at the same height as your, as your heart. Uh, so your heart doesn't have to work as hard to pump the blood. Uh, if you think about it on a regular bike, you're upright, the blood has to go down, come back up. Uh, and also the recumbent position is much more aerodynamic, so you can go further and it's much more comfortable. And one more thing, you mentioned that dual hub motors for superior efficiency and traction because you have mm -hmm. used dual motors in your electric mm -hmm. cycle. But what does it exactly mean? Well, what that means is, is we're using two different kinds of hub motors that are uh, have different qualities. So the front hub motor is very efficient at low speed and helps get the bike up to speed, but becomes less efficient at high speed and the rear hub motor is more efficient at high speeds um, and supports regenerative braking. And so with the combination of the two motors and the fact that the front motor shuts down once your speed is up to about 28 kilometers per hour, uh, it means basically that you're using the best qualities of each motor to move the bike as efficiently as possible. Um, when we went to the dual motors, we actually, uh, our efficiency went up by about 16%. Okay, so what kind of age group you're looking to s sell this uh, Electro Me bike? Well, I don't know about in India, but here in Canada, unfortunately, uh, the the older generation has a lot more money, um, and they are very interested. They like the the reclined position. Uh, so, uh, you know, people I would say forty to sixty year olds are the ideal market because they. They have the money and they are ready to do something like this. Uh, but I would really like the Electrum to be available to all age groups uh, because it's it's just a great way to get around. It's great to have exercise. The one thing is it's not ideal for much older people whose balance is failing because it is a two-wheel bike. You do need to be able to maintain your balance. 
and also Fabrice, I have seen your video, particularly you do a lot of exercises and also stunts as well. You usually lean down and you just uh, rotate or all around 360 degrees, you usually cycle this electric cycle. Is it possible for everyone or you have practiced so, practice so much so that you, you don't fall down like that? Uh, well, the Electrum uses the same balance that we have uh, learned to ride a regular bicycle. But it is different. It takes about 10 minutes to get comfortable on the Electrum so that you can ride uh, with your feet off the ground and on the pedals. And we have found it takes about 30 hours of practice to get really comfortable on the Electrum so that you can take full advantage of its handling. But if you think about it, most people don't learn to ride a motorcycle overnight or drive a car overnight. So it's like a new vehicle. You have to practice it. So finally, as a manufacturer, how can you rate how will you rate your electric cycle out of 10? Well, obviously I'm biased, but uh, it's pretty close to perfect for what I was hoping to make. So I'd give it a 9 out of 10. There's a few improvements uh, that we'd like to make over time. Uh, to just mostly, mostly to do with manufacturing and cost. We'd love to get the cost cheaper. Um, and once we do that, it really will be a perfect vehicle for what it's designed for, which is commuting in, in decent weather, um, uh, you know, 200 kilometers at a time. Okay. So here are some of the questions from our subscribers and uh, mm -hmm. they, they want to ask you. So I, I yeah. just read it a few of the questions. The first question yeah. is about, do you have plans to launch Electrome in India? Uh, I don't at this time because we are still a young company. Uh, but if anyone out there in India has the, uh, the connections and the money, uh, I'm certainly willing to talk to them about building them there. Uh, because in my mind, the best way for a vehicle like this to be brought to a con country like India is for them to be made there. Okay. And can we expect, can we expect an affordable electric cycle for India? I, I think so. I mean, but I think it's important that it be made in India uh, for that to be achieved. Um, as well, I think that uh, if one were to achieve certain economies of scale, you could bring the cost of the components down significantly as well. Okay. Instead of making an e-cycle, why can't you made it trike? Uh, I did not make it a trike for a very specific reason that there are already lots of good trikes out there. Uh, nobody needs another trike, in my, in my opinion. Um, I felt that the two-wheel platform was being ignored, and there are certain advantages. Uh, two wheels can get through narrow gaps in traffic that a trike cannot get through. Uh, trikes have a built-in disadvantage in that they have three wheels, one, two, and three. Those are three things you have to steer around obstacles and holes in the road, which make trikes really difficult uh, on rough roads. Um, and uh, I just love the way two wheels handle. I don't like trike handling. I don't like not being able to bank into the corners. You know, you can tip and, and rock your way into corners. I love that feeling on a, on a conventional bicycle. Uh, you don't get that on a trike. Okay. Now, finally, I just want to test your knowledge about electric vehicle industry in India. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is your favorite electric car and electric bike in India? Oh, you know, to be honest, I don't have great knowledge of, of what's going on specifically in India right now. Um, I know that Tata is quite busy making, I believe they're making a small electric car, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm really curious to see what comes out of Tata. Yeah, Tata's Nexon EV is a one, wonderful electric yeah. car in India. Uh, but I do, I and I, uh, Tata introduced the world's cheapest car, I think it was yeah, nano. a couple of years ago now, and I don't know how that turned out, but I thought it was a really brave thing to do and a good initiative. Yes. Okay, uh, tell we, me about your, your favorite electric car then. Well, I have a favorite electric bike, which is the Electrum LEV. <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm not very fond of cars, to be honest with you, because I, uh, I, I'm a lifetime cyclist. Um, of course, uh, Tesla, if you're going to buy an electric car, Tesla is very, very hard to beat. But um, the Kia Nero, I quite like as well. Okay. Now, we may have different names for them over here than, than are being used over there. Um, and then a new, a new electric truck that's coming out of the United States is called the Rivian. 
and I'm quite excited for the Rivian, although it's going to be very expensive. So I don't think I'll buy one anytime soon. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Fabrizio Cross, for uh, answering all the questions what the electric vehicle viewers have. And also, we are wishing that your company and Electro Me Bike will be successful in the market. Well, thank thank you very much, Krishna. It's been a pleasure to talk to you, and uh, and thank you for the good luck wishes. It's uh, we're a small, young company, and with with luck, we'll get there. Yeah, lots of love from India and all over uh, and all over the world. Uh, go green and go electric. <laughs>